Hi everyone, in this video we'll be learning about UV mapping, texturing and shading a leaf. So let's get started. This leaf was obtained from cgtextures.com. Uh, I actually had this texture a long time ago, so I'm just reusing that for this tutorial. Unfortunately, I can't uh, give this texture to you guys. You'll have to get this texture for yourself at cgtextures.com, but it is a free texture. And, and if you don't want this image, then you're free to get any other leaf texture. Um, but make sure it is a PNG transparent leaf texture. So you can always go to Google Images and look for PNG transparent leaf texture. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to solid mode and I'm going to delete this cube. So I just get out of edit mode, X, delete. Now I want to create my little leaf. Now it can be fun to model a leaf uh, from scratch, but um, when you're doing like tree modeling and plant modeling, it's always a waste of time just to model leaves one by one. You, it's always better to use like a plane to create your leaves and then actually using texturing to make that leaf look like a leaf. All I did right now is create a plane and just scaled it on the y-axis. That's it. It doesn't really have to be any specific scale. I just chose three boxes by two boxes, uh, whichever whichever suits you best, you can go ahead and stack that. Um, now I'm going to add the material that we added earlier. So I'm just going to call that leaf. So if I've got a texture mode now, or material mode now, we see absolutely nothing. Why do we see nothing? Well, because our plane is not UV unwrapped. To UV unwrap it, just go into edit mode, then make sure all the vertices are selected. And I don't have to do any um, seam marking here, it's just a plane. So all I have to do is press U, unwrap, and there you go. So as you can see, it looks squashed. It doesn't look right. So I'm going to try a different option from the UV unwrapping menu. So I'm just going to now go to the top view, and now I'm going to press U and project from view. What this means, it, it will use the view that you are currently in and use that to determine how your object will be unwrapped. So in this regards, I have a perfect scale uh, unwrapping of my 3D model. All right, so over here, back in the texture editing window, I can press S to scale up. And uh, the leaf is actually a little bit bigger than I thought. So I can press S, Y or S, X to scale it out a little. Let me move it up. And there we go. All right, perfect. Our leaf model looks pretty good and we pretty much don't have to look at UV mapping anymore. So I can just tab out of edit mode and close this window by left click dragging towards the right side. And once I see that arrow, I'll let go. So we have our leaf model here. Now let's change this to a sun lamp. And um, I'm probably gonna change the size to 0 0.01 to make it look more like sun. Uh, and change the color to yellow. A little bit, a little bit yellow. Okay, so now when I render this, of course, let's give our world a sky. So use nodes. I want to use a texture yet again for this, a sky texture. And there we go. So um, if we look at our, well, let's go back to the sun again and change the strength of our sun to about eight or about five. Okay, so if we look at our leaf texture, it doesn't really look much like a leaf. Uh, it looks like a paper with a leaf texture on it. So it doesn't look that convincing. But we can play with shaders now to make it look convincing. So now I'm going to go ahead and drag out a new window and change this to the node editor. And it says emission, which is not right. That's because I have the lamp selected. So I'm going to go ahead and select my leaf model. It's always good to rename things to um, make sense when you're working in a scene. So plane doesn't sound right. So I'm going to rename it to the leaf by double clicking in the outliner and changing it to leaf. So now everything makes sense. So now let's make it look like leaf. So we need to work with shaders here. We're going to obviously have to mix a couple of different shaders to make it look like a proper leaf. And the first shader that we're going to work with is the one that's obviously going to get rid of all this black stuff. So the shader that we're going to work with is, well, obviously, the transparent shader. That's going to get rid of all that um, transparent stuff. Okay, uh, and we're going to add this shader with the transparent shader. It's got rid of all that black stuff. 
but it's also taking away part of the image as well. It's making the image look half invisible, which is not exactly what we want. So I want to use the alpha node to connect from the image to the transparent shader. And you can see it's brought back just the black parts. So let me just backtrack a bit. The black parts of the image are the transparent parts of the image. Remember how I mentioned that I got this image from CG Textures? Well, this leaf texture has transparent information within it, since this is a PNG transparent image. So it already has transparent data in it. Uh, and this image texture node already knows how to work with that. So that's what I'm utilizing right now. However, right now, it's uh, flipped it around. It's actually making the, the transparent parts fully visible and uh, attempting to get rid of all the leafy parts. So we need to invert that. So go to color, invert, and drop it there. And now all the transparent parts have been, uh, well, since it, it's inverted the colors, all the transparent parts have now disappeared and the leafy parts are now visible. So now that looks like a proper leaf model. So one thing we want to do is we want to try to make this leaf model look a little bit better. So we probably want to make the leaf look a little bit wet and maybe have a bit of translucency coming through. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this out of the way a little bit so we can add in all our other stuff. So let's just add a mix shader here. And let's mix it with a glossy shader. Uh, that doesn't look right. And use the uh, image texture for this one and um, turn down the roughness to our point 0.1 and let's do one more thing in the back of our object looks completely um, blocked by sunlight so we're going to add a bit of translucency so that the light penetrates through it a little bit so let's shader let's mix another shader and, and let's oops and let's add in a translucent shader I'm going to use yet again this image. So now you can see that light is now seeping through our leaf. Before it was like this, no light passing through, like basically like a thick object, and now light is passing through like a realistic leaf. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you've learned a lot and you had fun doing so. Keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.